folks, welcome back to a new episode of Trucks of Cooking. And before you leave, down here in the bottom right hand corner, why don't you hit like and subscribe? Hit that little bell thing down there, that reminder. That way, next time I put out a video, you'll know when it's coming out. And so, tonight, we are going to be making some comfort food. And typically, I think of comfort food as being fall or winter type foods, something like a roast or stew or something like that. Well, tonight we are going to do something a little different and it, for me, is comfort food because we are going to be making corn dogs. Now, as a kid, my brother and I, we would at times be sent to the grocery store to go pick up maybe a pound of hamburger or back in the day, there was no law on who could buy cigarettes and both my parents were smokers and even as pre-teens, we would be sent to the store occasionally to go buy cigarettes. And part of the reward was that we would get a little something for ourselves while we were there. Now, and occasionally out sitting out in front of the grocery store would be these trailers. Sometimes they'd sell cotton candy. Sometimes they would sell corn dogs and they were so good. So tonight we are gonna make corn dogs kind of a throwback to my youth and so let's get turned around let's see where we're going here Folks, so first things first, I went and bought myself some skewers here. Now these are like 10 inch skewers and they are way too long. These are bamboo. Now, if I was gonna be true to form, they'd be wood and they'd be a little bit thicker than these are. But these are all I could find. And I don't need 10 inch skewers. And so I've taken a pair of uh, wire cutters here and snip them off and there we have several skewers for hot dogs here and I am going to go ahead and put one of these skewers up into each hot dog kind of like so There we go. That's a whole package of hot dogs. Now, and I've got some cornstarch here. I'm just gonna kinda powder these things with this cornstarch. That's one, it's gonna help to dry them off. It's also going to help our batter here in a minute to stick to them. So I'm gonna kinda roll these around on each other. There we go. It's got a pretty, well, that one's not gotten very good, is it? Good thing I went back over and checked them. All right. I think that's got it pretty good. And we're gonna set those off to the side. Now we've got our bowl here. Uh, and into our bowl, we're going to put one cup of all-purpose flour. One half cup of cornmeal. Almost like making homemade cornbread. And if you haven't seen that video, I've got one up in the top right-hand corner. All right, right there into our bowl. Now and we need three teaspoons of baking powder. Do not confuse baking powder and baking soda. We need three teaspoons. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, and there's three. We need, in our bowl here, in our small bowl here, we've got one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of ground mustard, one quarter teaspoon of paprika, and a little bit of a grind of black pepper. In other words, kind of like a pinch. I will put the link to the printed recipe, to the printed recipe, down in the show notes there. Now, we need one tablespoon of sugar. Tablespoon of sugar. There we go. And we're gonna kinda just whisk all that together. Get a good stir going here. Get it well mixed together. Now then, you want to make sure you kind of get the right size of bowl. Because you want to be able to get your hot dogs into the batter. And too big a bowl, probably going to cause you to lay the whole thing down. And that might be an issue. Alright, so into our bowl we need to put one egg. One whole egg, that is. One large whole egg. We need eight ounces of evaporated milk. Evaporated milk and sweetened condensed milk are not the same thing. This is evaporated milk. So we need one cup. like that and into our bowl it goes now we whisk this up just as if we were making cornbread and if that doesn't look like cornbread I don't know what does <laughs> I should say cornbread uh, batter if it was just a little bit thicker, you can make hush puppies. Now then, we're going to begin heating our oil over here on the stove to 375, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we are currently about 345 or so. So here very shortly, we're going to begin putting corn dogs into the oil. Now, at any time you're deep frying on the stove, make sure you turn your handle into the stove, so to speak. You don't want it hanging out here where you can bump it as you're moving around and dealing with your food and whatnot, because this hot oil could definitely burn you very badly or if you knock it right, you could uh, spill it over to the side and start a grease fire or something like that. And you definitely do not want that kind of problems going on. So I've got my hot dogs here. I've got my bowl with the batter right there. And we're just going to go from hot dog, batter, into the oil. And then back here I've got a plate with paper towel where I can drain them. We are getting well over 350 now. In fact, it's getting close to uh, 360. There's 360 right now. So about 15 more degrees, and we're going to be there about 14 actually. There we go. It will not take long at all. Now, as we begin putting corn dogs in here, it's going to start dropping the temperature. Now, the bigger the pan, and in this case, cast iron, it's going to hold the temperature a lot better than some of your aluminum pans. 371, 
372.9373373. We are close enough to begin putting our hot dogs in here. I'm kind of shake them off a little bit. There we go. Like that. And you want to lay it in here. I'm just going to begin kind of coating this next dog. And now it's got to be in there two to three minutes. There's one. Here's our second one. I think I can get maybe three at a time. I've only got eight, so it shouldn't take too long. Another one. How does that look? That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Seems like they're kind of self turning here, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to say that one's been in there two to three minutes. I'm going to set that one out. Begin preparing another one. By the time I get this one done, it'll probably be time to pull that second one. I have been keeping an eye on which one went where. There we go. This is the second one right here. Maybe hold that one side under a little bit. There we go. Go for our next one here. Get it ready to go in there. I need to move that one over because that's the last one I just put in. Okay, there goes that one. We'll hold this one down a little bit. There goes that one. I'll begin getting my next one ready here. This one goes right here. Just like that. Hold that one down a bit. One can come out. Okay. Well, that's a kind of weird looking one, isn't it? I'm just trying to hold the floater side under a little bit. Make sure it's all cooked. Alright, so I just turned my heat off. Very important step, do not walk away from your skillet with heat going underneath it. All right, folks, how about that? How does that look? Oh yeah. All right, folks, it's time to take a picture, get turned around, it's time to eat. Now folks, there's just not but one kind of mustard that goes on a corn dog. And that would be plain old yellow mustard. Just like that.
Now let's get turned around. Because it is that time. Alright folks, so there it is. You saw it. You can do this. It's easy. Hmm. Mmm. Folks, it's got that slight sweetness to the cornmeal, to the cornbread breading, I guess. That's what you would call it. The casing. Offset by that mustard. That's a beautiful thing right there. Mm-hmm. Much better than those ones you cook in the oven. The only way to do a real corn dog is to deep fry it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could sit here and eat this whole thing right in front of you, but I'm not going to. Folks, do me a favor. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, if you like what you're seeing, hit like and subscribe. And stay tuned, there's always more to come. And thanks for watching.